So it looks like Skyrim is in danger. It requires the immediate assistance of the level 4 Dragonborn. The courier has just stopped by to leave me a message. To the, to the Dragonborn, this is it. Yeah, this is definitely it. Yeah, Moon and Star. Quest started. Some of you might know this. This is a mod. It is pretty sweet, so we're going to just run through it. It's not a super long quest. It's, it's kind of long. It's about as long as you make it. But uh, we're not going to speed run it or anything. But, it, you know, we'll have some fun with it. It is pretty cool. So, yeah, a letter here. You can read it if you want. I've read it before, but I forget what it says. And I'm not going to reread it because I know what happens. But basically, we got to do some stuff. I'm just going to follow the quest marker blindly. So, let's go ahead and look at the quest marker blindly. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, we got to speak with this guy, Mandian. Halu, Halu, Lu, Halu, Halu. Yeah. So I've received a letter from a man named Manda Hall, asking to meet me at the Sleeping Giant Inn in Riverwood to discuss a dangerous matter. So we're already in the Sleeping Giant, so we just got to look around for this guy. Also, maybe we can take a quick second to introduce all the different right waifus that decided to show up today to help I'm with right the quest. Up. We have Succubuson. Um, uh, see, 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 I think that's how you say that. It's an odd one. And then this is like Cicero, Cicero, Cicero. Uh, yeah, I think it's like a female Cicero. If any of you are familiar with that, but yeah, here's this guy over here. Kind of dark in here, but we're gonna talk to him anyway about stuff. He's a dark elf. Maybe that is affecting. No, nah, I'm not gonna go there. Then safe travels, my friend. Oh, I think I said the wrong thing. <laughs> More blind let's play going on here. Well, not really blind. I've done this quest before, so I know I know what we need to be doing. Uh, who are you? I'm Mandin Hlalu, representative of the great house Hlalu of Morrowind. I'm here in Skyrim on urgent business. Oh, so I guess he's here in the uh, urgent business is what he says? But he sent for us, so apparently we're part of the business. So I did, Dragonborn. Hmm. Amazing. You possess so much power. And no one could tell by looking at you. Back to business. As neighbors, Skyrim and Morrowind share more than a border. Our fates are intertwined. We must look out for one another. As such, when a famous criminal from Morrowind was spotted in Skyrim, I was dispatched by House Hlalu to find him. However, he is too deadly for me to face alone. I need a hero's help. Excellent. You are as noble as they say. Nonetheless, I would feel guilty without rewarding such valor. Five hundred septums awaits you, if you succeed. I tracked the criminal to a village southwest of here called Little Vivek, but after that, the trail went cold. However, you may have better luck. Not only is he a fearsome combatant, but he is silver-tongued. If he begs for his life, do not believe a word he says. I will continue my investigation elsewhere. I have another lead I'd like to explore. I'll be sure to contact you if it bears fruit. Wait, before you go, take this ring. The criminal is known to wield enchanted blades, and this may protect you from them. Happy hunting, Dragonborn. And many thanks. You are doing both Morrowind and Skyrim a great service. So yeah, there you go. So basically this guy's from Morwin. He's here on a justice-related matter. Maybe we can get a better look at him now. The butterflies are kind of in the way. That's another mod. That's uh, not vanilla. But yeah, here, here he is. Yeah. So he's here on a top-secret mission to uh, get a, a criminal, he said? Some type of some type of high-value high, high value target criminal. But uh, basically, it's justice. It all boils down to justice and justice needing to be served so we need to head in this direction let's check the map we'll look at the map i think it's just a fishing village yeah just down here so yeah we'll uh we'll make our way to that way so yeah we're getting pretty close to the uh to the old fishing village i'm pretty sure that's that's what it is it's like a fishing hunting type village it's also part of the mod this is like a full-on quest mod it's it's pretty cool it's one of the one of the cooler ones out there i'd say and um yeah it's it's like I said, not too long, but I think it does have multiple endings, which is pretty cool. That's in pretty good classic Skyrim fashion, or 
I guess Elder Scrolls in general type fashion. So yeah, we gotta swim all the way there because I took the wrong way because I'm an idiot. It was just a short swim. No, you know, I'm no Michael Phelps, but you know, we did, we we passed, you know, we got, we got across it pretty fast. I thought that was a person right there, so I was going to talk to him. It's not, so let's talk to, I guess, the little boy maybe? Because we're basically just here investigating. We're just trying to find leads. This was like his last spotted location, so we'll just sit here and we'll talk to him. Also, enjoy the voiceover. This is one of the few quest mods that have, well, I mean, there's a, there's a lot of them out there, but I'd say in grand scheme of things, maybe not all of them, very few mods come with voice acting, and this one does, and it's actually pretty good. So, we'll go ahead and we'll listen to this kid, see what he has to say. I'm Albert, and this is my best friend, Meat. Say hi, Meat. Actually, <laughs> Albert's voice actor sounds way better than the kids in the normal game. I feel like that is... That's pretty much true for most quest mods, though, to be honest. I feel like the voice acting somehow is better in the in the mods than it is in the actual game. Not that I'm dissing on the actual game voice actors. It's just, like, something about them is a little bit funny. In particular, like, the guards, you know? Like, the classic arrow in the knee kind of thing. So, yeah, they're they're more funny than they are, like, nailing the moment or the, or the character. So, whatever. I don't know. That's just my two cents. Well... My old parents went away. They said they were going to join the storm by, but they didn't come back. So I went looking for them. I got lost. But then I found Celise. And she said she's like my mom now. And she's real, real nice. So I guess my parent is in the shop over there. Me and me are playing Apocadips. See, the whole world was Apocadips by giant mushroom people. And now me and me have to save the world by finding the three dogs. Yeah! Just find my three stuffed dogs and give it to me, and then we can stop the apocalypse. This is pretty sweet. So, yeah, uh, there is a way to get this. As you can see, the quest marker is just here. So, like I said, we are just investigating. But there is a way to, like, fast track this. There is a specific person I know that you can talk to in the village to pretty much lead you to the next segment of the quest. Um, but we're going to fiddle around for a little bit, you know, we're just going to hang out. The butterflies are out, it's a sunny day, but you, we got a little side quest here, I forget how to open the menu. Yeah, pick up, uh, yeah, uh, well, no, I guess, yeah, 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 here, no, yeah, yeah, no, yeah, here it is. So yeah, we, uh, we got to help Albert find the three stuffed dogs. I'm not even sure what this would look like, to be honest. I don't know if he, uh... If he'd be willing to give us any hints. I don't know where he put them. He said he's playing a game called like Ap Apocrypha or something. That's pretty. I thought that was a really cool fate game. Or at least it's a really cool fate anime. So maybe we can talk to him again about getting some hints. I'm not totally Hello. sure. Uh, no. Okay. So maybe he's not going to give some hints. So maybe we'll just uh, we'll look around Stupid a little dog. bit. Maybe we'll see something. Maybe we won't. I don't know. I don't think Sucker. Ah. Well, actually, that looks like one right there. So at least now we know what we're looking for. I've actually never... It's been a long time since I've played this quest. And from what I can remember, I don't think I've actually done this specific mini quest right here. You know, so I've done some things and I've done some other things. But for the most part, I don't really remember what happens. Um, I did speed run this quest the other day. Just so I could, you know, in case we need to get things moving along. You know, at least I know what we need to be doing in a general sense. So... I do have that information. Oh, that's just a book. But yeah, I guess we're just looking around for the dogs. This is actually, that's pretty cool. I like the little, it's basically just a dog model. It's frozen stiff, just placed around the map, I guess. That one was pretty cool. I didn't even know what we were looking for. This is this is just like a, like a, like a treasure hunt, I guess. I don't know. It's pretty cool, though. I like it. So here's another one of the locals. Let's talk to him. Maybe he has clues on the criminal or the stuffed dog toys. I'm Torin, the useful DeRosa twin. So if you ever need to tell us apart, just go, which one is actually being productive? Then you'll know. If Tarn had his way, he'd lie in bed all day and be doted on by naked human girls. So yeah, pretty damn lazy. I'm not the best guy to ask, but I can tell you what I know. Tuh, <laughs> because Belvedere's an idiot. Next question. Services, huh? <laughs> well, Solis runs that trade house of hers like a general, and Balron can help you use a bow. That's about it, though. Besides my brother and myself, 
There's Balron and Solis, they basically run the place. And little Albert's running around somewhere. Then there's Belvedere and... Well, like my brother says, the only thing Belvedere is good for is his wife. All right, go for it. Solis's shop always gets good traffic, and Ball Ron memorizes every face that glances our way. If you're looking for someone, you should ask them. Yeah, actually, if you're looking for work. We're running low on lumber, but I don't have time to run to the Riverwood Mill myself. Mind dropping off an order there for me? Great. Just drop it off in the order chest by the mill. And next time you drop by, I'll have some septums for you. Huh. So, looks like he gave us a little bit of a side quest there. We're, we're piling on the side quests. We've talked to two people and we have accumulated two yeah, miniature yeah. side quests. And uh, it looks like, oh, yep, this is, uh, I guess this is the lazy brother he was talking about. I'm Tarin, the older, better looking Derosa twin. So if you ever need to tell us apart, just go, hey, which one is more handsome? Then you'll know. I can already tell that you're going to be no fun at all. That would be a question for the less handsome Derosa. He's the doing things guy. Probably. Can't say I remember all of them. Though there was this one merchant caravan with this imperial girl who was just... Well, you really had to be there. Sorry, no time for tours right now. I've got a full docket of nothing ahead of me for the day. If you want to talk to someone, go find Solis. If you want to be talked at, go find Belvedere. So long. That guy's actually pretty funny. I like him. He's the lazy, good-looking one, even though they look the same, I guess. But yeah, he's pretty funny. So yeah, I guess we'll uh, continue the search for the dogs. We also have a lumber mill order to help with. Um... We got so much on our plate, but we'll, we'll get through it somehow together. Oh, yeah, the butterflies. I was going to talk about the butterflies, but I keep forgetting. So, yeah, the butterflies, they're part of a uh, they're part of another mod I got installed right now. What it basically does is add all kinds of really neat attacks. We'll probably see that later when we get into combat. The butterflies are basically like a healing type magic attack. It's not really an attack. It's like a defense thing. So, yeah, in case you were wondering about that, yeah, so that's what that does. That's what the butterflies do. I think I have to get hit for them to go away, and they're starting to get annoying, so maybe we can find some combat. But uh, before that, we gotta talk to this guy, Belvedar, I think his name is. Many fine travelers have graced our halls. Are you searching for anyone in particular? Hmm, well, there was one gentleman who passed through. He wore armor made in Morrowind, and carried a pair of beautiful blades. Naturally, I took his armor as a sign, and offered him the position of Chief Ordinator of Little Vivic, and my personal aid. But alas, he declined. That thug Baron must have offended him. He spent entirely too much time talking with that guest. Zora only knows why. As I'm sure you know, Little Vivic's namesake consisted of floating structures called cantons connected by bridges. Thusly, it is only natural to call our island's cantons in their honor. It's just so wonderfully poetic, is it not? I am Belvedere Ravasi, leader and founder of Little Vivek and head of Rathvasi Canton. If you need to know anything about our humble home, ask away. A busy man like myself could always use aid. That's why I issue many proclamations to Little Vivek citizens to make sure they're contributing. In fact, I have a splendid idea. I can't be bothered to spend all that time delivering proclamations. So why don't you become my official courier and deliver them for me? 
Marvelous. Just deliver these proclamations to Celis Andrathil, Torin de Rosa, and Bauron, and report to me when you finished. Oh, so it looks like we have yet another quest going on here. So we're uh, delivering proclamations, looking for dogs, and we also have a lumber mill thing. We need help. Hello. You know. Uh, dang it, Albert. Why won't you give me any hints? Come on. I found one on complete accident. The odds of me finding the rest are very, very slim. I'm Valina Rathvasi. You've probably already met my husband, Belvedere. He so loves greeting all of our visitors. Oh, of course. We get visitors every now and then. You should ask my husband if you're looking for someone. He just adores talking to visitors. Of course, dear. I'd be happy to. But you really should ask Belvedere. He'll have so much more to say. Oh, such a... just... charming name, isn't it? It was all my husband's idea. He's so creative. Darling Celise runs a shop by the village entrance, if you're looking to trade. And I'm told Balron offers lessons with a bow. Oh, and Belvedere can tell you anything you need to know, of course. I don't know how he keeps all those facts in his head sometimes. Naturally, I live here with my dear husband. Celise and her... uh... ward, Albert, live in Celise's shop. Balron has that hut of his. Oh, and you must have seen our dashing DeRosa twins. It's so rare to see identical twins, is it not? And they're such fine young men, too. Ask away, dear. Me? Oh no, I'm fine. You should ask Belvedere, though. He's always got something brewing, that husband of mine. So it's a little bit awkward that she finds the twins... I guess attractive. I, I think that's she, she. She used the word fine, so we'll just go with that. But they, we're not. We're not here to get in the way of that. We're looking for a, a super dangerous criminal from Morrowind. I think he. Yeah, yeah. He did say it's from. They're from Morrowind. So, yeah. The guy, the mayor, said that. Uh, he. Uh, he did say that someone passed through here in Morrowind armor with the. Uh, what was it? The two? It was a dual wielder. So he's he must be super powerful because like dual wielding's the best in the game. So hopefully we don't have to fight him. That'd be really bad. Oh no. But man, where's Albert keeping these dogs? I found one on the post, and then I think that's all I found so far. So here's the general store. I think they were talking about. Yeah, this is definitely a general store. So let's go up here. She's she's not Welcome at the Lisa's trade house. She's what not at the here? counter right now, so we'll just have to talk to her up here. Maybe she knows where one of the dogs is. I'd run a pretty unsuccessful business if I didn't. Why do you ask? I'm afraid I can't help you. Sorry. I have a strict policy of customer confidentiality. Sorry. I'm a merchant, not a mercenary. What's for sale is on the shelf. No more, no less. Oh, you've got to be kidding. He can't even deliver his little ego droppings himself anymore? By Azura. If only you could sell hot air. We'd be the wealthiest village in Skyrim. As a matter of fact, I could actually use some help restocking some supplies. What do you say? Want to make some quick gold? Great. Here's a list of what I need. Bring me that and you're 300 septums richer. Plus a bonus for quality. And don't even think about haggling. I'm overpaying as it is. Dang, she wants some nerm root, some wolf pelts, tundra cotton, lavender. She wants all kinds of junk. Uh, luckily, I have a ton of junk. But I was hoping she'd say something about the dogs, to be honest, that's like my top priority right now. It goes dogs, then the guy from Morrowind, then the proclamations, then somewhere down the line, I guess, maybe the the lumber mill stuff? But yeah, it looks like, yeah, no, nah, there's uh, no dogs in here. But we had to check it out, we had to at least look around, right? Eventually. 
Okay, so I definitely didn't look up online and cheat my way to find out where the dogs were because I definitely wanted to complete the quest. But yeah, here's definitely one of them. That's hard to see, actually. Maybe because it's getting nighttime. That's what it is. And something's going on with the with the lighting at night. I don't know. I got too many mods to keep track. But yeah, I mean, I you, you, we didn't want to be here all day. But I definitely wanted to help Albert out. So I used our, you know, the power of cheating Dragonborn. I, oh, whoa, 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 wait, 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 wait. I mean, no. No, I did not. I found these on my own. And I take full credit. So yeah, I think the last one is over here. It's, it's said. I mean, I've, I said because I found it. Yeah, she was standing right on top of it. Before, it was this lady's fault. She, I mean, we would have found it ages ago. She was standing on it when we were talking to her. Wow, you're fast. You're better at apocadips than I am. And I'm the best at apocadips. Here. You could have my lucky coin for being so good. My friend Woof gave it to me. No one thinks he's real, but I talked to him and he gave me this coin. And all of a sudden I felt so super lucky. He said I'd know who to give it to. And you're pretty really me, so you can have it. Yeah, but you can't play anymore. I'm a lone warrior now. I work alone. Bye! I think Albert might be my favorite character in the quest, to be honest. But, uh, yeah, so there you go. We did all the dogs. We, uh, whoa, no, 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 we didn't do, no, 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 we didn't do that. We found all the dogs. But yeah, Albert. Man, Albert's voice actor sounds just like Sarah Whedonhef. If any of y'all know the Sarah Whedonhefs, shout out in the comments below. Or don't. It, I'm not... I'm not begging for comments or anything like that. You don't have to if you don't want to. I'm just saying, let's support the Whedon Heft. I tell you what, if you know the Heft, go over to her, whatever, social meteors, and then shout out there. Do that, yeah. All right, so I've advanced time a little bit, done some off-screen work. We got the materials for the shop, for the shop owner. I forget her name. I think it's like Balls or something like that. But yeah, she's not open right now. It's like 10. It's 11 in the morning she's still not open i don't know what kind of business she's running but so we're going to talk to torn for a second we got the pro proclamations that's that's a hard word for me to say because i'm a little bit illiterate oh do you perfect i could use a good laugh oh, so well there you go that's yeah. that done i think there's one person left and that is balls she needs her proclam proclamation dang it why can't I say that word? Okay, she's open, so that's good. Took her five minutes to unlock the door, but we waited patiently. We have her materials, her proclamation. I said it right that time. Welcome back. What can I do for you? Fantastic. Let me see. Oh, very nice. These pelts are exceptional. Here, I pawned this off an Imperial soldier a while back. You may find it useful with all the stuff you seem to carry around. Is she making a jab at me being a hoarder? Also, her name's not Balls. It's Sel Selsa, Selsa, Salsa. So, yeah, I guess Balls is the bow guy. He's pretty cool. I like him, too. He might be my second favorite character in this town. Not in the whole quest, but in the town. So, yeah, no spoilers. But, yeah, so we need to go talk to him and give him his proclamation. Then we'll do the lumber thing, and then we'll probably be pretty... Pretty Something close to getting everything done with the village, I think? No. No. Okay, well that's pretty cool. I like I like his answer. He also trains in archery, which is pretty sweet. Um, let's see. We don't want to train in archery though. We can handle that on our own time. But it is pretty cool to see a fellow archer in the mix here. This is overall a pretty sweet village. Because we are a village of Dunmer on the water. And some found it clever to name it after another village of Dunmer on the water. I do not. Lady Celise can offer you trade for any good you can think of. And I can teach you the way of the bow. That is all I'm afraid. It is a village founded by Dunmer refugees. Yes, we tired of our treatment in Windhelm and moved south. The climate is more hospitable. The lake and forest provide plentiful resources, and Riverwood lies nearby. It is an ideal location. 
Lady Celise Andrethil and Albert live in Celise Trade House. The twins share a home, and Lady Valina Rathvasi lives across from the twins. Belvedere is also there, I suppose. As you wish. I am called Bauran. I hunt and fish for the village. Yes, though few of note. A curious question. More curious from a stranger. Need? No. Desire, perhaps, if you think yourself a warrior. A group of bandits has been plaguing the woods nearby for weeks, sniffing for weakness. I made sure they found only arrows, yet still they linger. I cannot leave the village and hunt them if they are watching, but you could in my place. Good, you have my thanks. I'll mark their last known location on your map. The leader wears an orcish helm. Bring it to me as proof. I will know if it is his. So there you go. There's Balsan. Like I said, he's pretty cool. I like Balsan. He's pretty sweet. It's a shame I can never remember his name. It's so simple. I mean, I've only played this mod like twice. But yeah, I, can't, I mean, that, that's enough. That's enough to justify me having a poor memory, right? That would hold up in court. So yeah, he did see someone pass through. And he's willing to talk to us about it. But we need to do him a favor. Or at least I think I think that no he didn't he didn't say that was the trade we're just offering to help him but you know once we get him on the good side I'm sure Balsam will help us he'll tell us what we need to know so yeah we we do have two things left to do um oh yeah we gotta return to uh, the mayor and tell him that we've sort of delivered all the proclamations and we also need to do the delivery to Riverwood so we'll do that then we'll do. The, 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 the bandit thing. We'll do the bandit thing next. Yeah, the bandit thing. So, the mayor has locked himself in his house and we cannot get in. Is it illegal if I open the door? I'm not sure. I guess we'll, we'll save. Well, I'll tell you what we'll do. Quick save. There you go. That's how you start fights right there. That's how you get into trouble. You just quick save first. So, let's go ahead and we'll just lock pay it. We'll see what happens. I don't... I mean, nobody seemed to have gotten upset. I mean, he locked the door. Maybe he forgot. Welcome back to Rathvasi Canton, traveler. Well done, my faithful courier. You have the makings of a fine vassal indeed. All right, so there you go. We've done that. We helped him out. And, uh... It, it came to my attention there. You might have heard someone else talking. Uh, that's us. Um, that's another mod I have installed, in case you're wondering. There is a player... Vo There's a few player voice mods you can get that are pretty cool. I have one installed. Um, so it's like an anime-themed one, of course. You know, of course it is. But yeah, it's pretty cool. I like that. Another thing I have installed that audio-wise is the full Elder Scrolls soundtrack pack I guess you could say I don't think that's its official name but basically it takes Morrowind, Oblivion and Skyrim's music mashes them all together so you'll get all the tracks in one game so that's also pretty sweet so look forward to that so here we are back in Riverwood we can never seem to leave this place for too long so yeah we need to go over here and deliver the wood shipment I think it is do we just put it in the in the box I guess I don't know yeah maybe Yeah, so okay, it was like a letter. I thought it was be like actual wood. I thought he gave us actual wood, but no, he just has a, a letter, a confirmation of purchase, I guess you could say. So yeah, that's everything else done. We just need to go and take care of the bandits. Let's go and look where they're at. Oh, yep, they're over here. So this is where we need to be going. Uh, all them quest markers, different junk. Oh yeah, we need to, I know what those are. That's like, that's the main quest marker. Looking for the criminal, and then this is to return to Torin about the lumber stuff. We'll return to Torin, but we got some unfinished business to do. We gotta go to Moss Creek Camp and uh, deal with the bandits that are there. They've been terrorizing the, the community of Little Vivek. I mean, that's just not cool. I mean, Little Vivek, this is way too cool to be, be bullied. I mean, stop the bullying in 2020. Alright, so this seems to be the place. 
and there was my character's voice kicking in. It's pretty cool. They talk a lot. I mean, they speak Japanese, so I only get a little bit of it. I'm sure you get none of it. It doesn't matter. What does matter is it looks like uh, the bandits are a little bit more dead than we might have expected. Uh, yeah, this lady's definitely not faking it. But, um, I guess we can look around. This is the leader. At least all their stuff was left. And balls. Balsan just wanted the bandits' helmets. We'll just take the helmet, I guess. I mean, that's fine. So, uh, yeah, we just need to return to Balsan. Let him know the bandits are dead, I guess. Oh, we'll, we'll, take the, we'll take the cash, too. We'll just take the cash, yeah. There we go. Yeah, there's another mod I got. <laughs> it's supposed to be, like, the, the Mario ring noise, I think? Two problems there. I'm pretty sure that it's Sonic. And then number two, it's also really freaking loud. I mean, going back to that one mod I was talking about, the soundtrack one, I really just wanted the Moral One one, but I could not find a separate one. Also, Opponos here, just in case you're wondering, of course. But yeah, I could not find, like, a Moral Wind one. That's, like, my favorite. I mean, Oblivion's pretty good, too. Skyrim's not bad. But, uh, yeah, let's talk to, uh... Actually, wait, 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 let's go do, we'll do, uh, we'll go do the Torm stuff. We'll, let's give, because it's the lesser of the two quests, so let's you? go and let him know that the delivery has been made. Here's your payment as promised. All right, so yeah, there's that done. We got that out of the way. Now let's talk to Balsan about the, the bandits that are mysteriously dead. Oh, no. I mean, I don't know who's going to grieve for them, but I mean, yeah. This is indeed the helm. It carries the dent I gave it, and he was already slain. Curious, could it have been him? I may, but no. You tried to do our village a service. You have a right to know. A warrior passed through here, wearing armor from Morrowind. A powerful man, and honorable. We discussed much. I mentioned the bandits to him, but I did not ask his aid. He must have offered it anyway. Those poor fools. They never would have stood a chance. He said he was seeking a Dwemer ruin called Kagranar, far to the east, near the Morrowind border. I cannot say more. I am sorry. You are welcome. I do not know why you seek him, but if you find him, I urge you. Think before you act. So yeah, there you go. Balsan has let us know where the bad guy, the supposedly bad guy, went. I mean, they're, they're, I mean, we're here because someone hired us to catch him for Morwen. I forget his name, but yeah, apparently he's supposed to be like a wanted criminal. But he showed up to this village, just passing through. They were talking about bandits, and he took it upon himself to dish out some social justice. So, I don't know. He doesn't sound like a super bad guy. I guess we'll have to investigate it further. Balsan did tell us where he went. All the way over this way is where he be. This is what called Kag Kagaranar. That's where we need to go. So, let's go there. Oh, oh shoot. It's snowing. It's dark out. So, uh, yeah, this is where we need to be. Uh, even though it's kind of hard to tell, we do need to head up this path here. And there will be an entrance.